students so today we are going to do a question from share capital in which uh, there are uh, two complexities one is that one of the shareholders he has paid in full with allotment money so when the allotment has been made to him he has paid all the money and second is the problem which we have been doing in our previous sums that there is a holder of 500 shares who has failed to pay the uh, failed to pay the first call and his share have been forfeited so let's start the question uh, there's a company it has issued uh, 25000 equity shares of 10 each uh, as follows application money 2.5 allotment money 5 rupee including premium on first call again 2.5 and on second call again 2.5 so each and every call is of 2.5 and uh, 2.5 rupee further is a premium so making it a total of uh, 12.5 rupee issue price which includes 10 rupee face value and 2.5 rupee premium the applications and allotment monies were received so there is a uh, no pro rata allotment 25000 uh, had applied and 25000 has to have been issued however the holders of 10000 shares so out of 25000 shares 10000 shares ke upar they have paid full with allotment money so at the time of allotment itself we have received full payment till final call for the 20 uh, 10000 shares second is holders of 500 shares failed to pay the first call and their shares were forfeited after due notice so 500 shares ke upar default hai for first call and uh, uh they have been forfeited the forfeited uh, shares were reissued at rupees 6 per share so forfeited shares have been reissued at rupees 6 per share uh, credited with 5 7.5 paid which means टू शेयर कैपिटल आएगा सेवन पॉइंट फाइव से वेयर एज जो पैसा रिसीव होगा वो छह रुपए रिसीव होगा विच मीन्स अगर हम कैपिटल सेवन पॉइंट फाइव से क्रेडिट कर रहे हैं बैंक छह रुपए से डेबिट कर रहे हैं तो दिस मीन्स इट इज इश्यूड एट डिस्काउंट वन पॉइंट फाइव विच वी विल टेक फ्रॉम शेयर फॉर फ्यूचर येस द न्यू शेयर होल्डर्स पेड फॉर द शेयर इन फुल दिस इज द थर्ड कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी इन द क्वेश्चन all the shares which were reissued 500 shares they were reissued and we had asked them to pay 6 rupee but they have also paid share final call of rupee 2.5 as well at the time of reissue the second call was duly paid by all other shareholders so let's start with the journal entries of this question so the journal entries will go like this first Bank account debited to equity share application. So twenty five thousand shares have been issued. Twenty five thousand into two point five comes out to be six a sixty two thousand five hundred. These share application account has been now converted into equity share capital account. So equity share application account debited to equity share capital account with rupees six two five double zero. How this six two five double zero has come? Twenty five thousand shares are. Its upper share application money is two point five. So making it sixty two thousand five hundred. next share allotment money due equity share allotment account debited 25000 shares 5 rupee which includes two things one is face value of rupee 2.5 and uh, second is securities premium of 2.5 so 1 lakh 25000 two equity share capital account 25000 into 2.5 two securities premium reserve 25000 into 2.5 so this is the entry next now the allotment money received So for this I have written working note one. So let's go to the working note. So this is the working note for allotment money received. There were twenty five thousand shares, and we were to receive five rupee on this share. So the amount which is due, the amount which is due is twenty five thousand into five, which comes out to be one lakh twenty five thousand. However, we have already received something which is called as. calls in advance we have already received something at the time of allotment itself there is no default on uh, allotment money my dear students please mind it there is no default at the time of allotment in the question the only thing which we have been told is calls in advance at the time of allotment so first call we have already received at the time of allotment is on 10000 shares 2.5 rupee we have also received second call itself at the time of allotment 10000 shares 2.5 rupee so this is 1 lakh 75000 rupee which we have received so accordingly our entry becomes like this 
बैंक अकाउंट डेबिटेड हाउ मच वी हैव रिसीव्ड इन टोटल इज वन लैख सेवेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड हाउ एवर दिस वन लैख सेवेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड कंप्राइजेज ऑफ थ्री थिंग्स वन इज अलॉटमेंट मनी सेकेंड इज फर्स्ट कॉल एंड थर्ड इज सेकेंड कॉल ओके सो शेयर अलॉटमेंट मनी ऑन ऑल ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड शेयर फाइव रूपी वी हैव रिसीव बिकॉज आई हैव ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू देर इज नो डिफॉल्ट सो ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड शेयर रूपी फाइव वन लैख ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड टेन थाउजेंड शेयर के ऊपर वी हैव रिसीव टू पॉइंट फाइव सो दिस इज इक्विटी शेयर फर्स्ट कॉल रिसीव्ड टू इक्विटी शेयर सेकेंड कॉल्स सो द एंट्री बिकम्स बैंक अकाउंट डेबिटेड वन लैख सेवेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड टू इक्विटी शेयर अलॉटमेंट वन लैख ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड टू इक्विटी शेयर फर्स्ट कॉल ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड टू इक्विटी शेयर सेकेंड कॉल ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड One thing I would like to tell you here that instead of writing here two equity share first call or two equity share second call, you can simply also write two calls in advance. However, in subsequent question later on, you will also use the ter same terminology. I hope you know that there are two methodology which we have already been discussed that. either you can go with calls in advance method or you can even ignore calls in advance and you can straight away write to equity share first call and to equity share final call okay second is now equity share first call due so equity share first call mind it due is on all the shares we will make first of all due for all the shares irrespective of the fact that we have received it 10000 in advance this thing we will incorporate when we will make the entry of first call received now we are making the entry for first call due so first call due 25000 full shares at the rate of 2.5 okay now the question arises so how much will be the first call received mind it now two things are there in this particular entry there are two things one is calls in advance second is calls in arrears on 10000 shares you have received the money in advance whereas on 500 shares you have not received the money that is calls in arrears so i have written working note 2 so let's uh, go to working note 2 so is on working note 2 amount received on first call Amount due on first calls is all twenty five thousand shares at the rate of two point five, which comes out to be six two five double zero minus calls in advance ten thousand five hundred ten thousand shares के ऊपर ढाई रुपए हम already receive कर चुके हैं that is twenty five thousand whereas there is some default which is calls in arrears so calls in arrears पांच सौ shares के ऊपर है ढाई रुपए के हिसाब से which comes out to be one two five zero so thereby are making total of Three six two five zero, which is the amount received on first call. Bank to equity share first call three six two five zero. Okay. Now we had uh, seen in the question itself that after share first call, these shares were forfeited. These five hundred shares were forfeited. So let's make the entry for forfeiture. Equity share capital account debited with called up amount. We have received till. first call so first call includes three things 2.5 share application 2.5 share allotment 2.5 first call making it 7.5 so 500 into 7.5 3750 equity share capital 3750 two equity share first call which is the amount of default we have already discussed the amount of default was 1250 so two equity share first call 1250 and last the balancing amount will go into share for feature account 2500 then in the question we have seen that immediately after the reissue before making the second call these shares were reissued immediately after the cancellation the shares were reissued so let's make the entry for reissue now the entry is bank account debited so how much money we have received let's see first of all we had asked them to pay rupees 6 so 500 ke upar 500 shares ke upar 6 rupees hame aaye dusra in shareholders ne end tak means second call bhi pay kar di sath hi in advance so we have received total 8.5 on 500 share so either you can directly do 500 into 8.5 Or 500 into 6 plus 500 into 2.5, which comes out to be 4250. After that, two equity share capital. So we have done till 4250. Okay, two equity share capital. There was the thing written in the question. They have been called rupees six issued for rupees six credited as seven point five. So credited at seven point five means two equity share capital may seven point five he dal na hai. So five hundred into seven point five three seven five zero. But they have also paid equity share second call. So I have written here two equity share second call. So five hundred into two point five one two five zero. Rest of the amount that is this one point five. How this one point five has come? Please uh, ponder on this. 
Yes, you are right. The answer is 7.5 has been credited, but they had been asked to pay 6. So the difference between 7.5 and 6 comes 1.5. So 500 into 1.5 comes out to be 750. So this is our entry for share ratio. Next. Now, if all the shares have been reissued, I have already told you if all the shares which are forfeited and they are reissued, the whole of the amount minus the amount which is used for reissue. Let's see the previous entry. In the previous entry, we have used two share forfeiture with 4 rupees 750 and total share forfeiture was 2500. So 2500 minus 750, this will go into capital reserve. Next is share final call due. Now again, have we got 24,500 shares or 2,500 shares? Yes, the answer is 7,2500 shares. Why? 25,000 shares. Why? Because out of 25,000 shares, 500 shares were definitely cancelled. However, they have been reissued again. So 25,000 shares into 2.5 uske upar call karna tha hume. Toh yeh maari due ki entry ho gai. However, ab hume receive kitna hua. So mind it, yaha par humare paas koi default toh nahi hai. Lekin do calls in arrear zaroor hai. So let's see the working note 3. And the working note 3 is like this. Amount received on second call. Amount due on second call is 25,000 into 2.5 which is 6 to 500 minus calls in advance. So 10,000 shares ke upar hume 2.5 receive ho gaya hai. 500 shares ke upar hume 2.5 receive ho gaya hai. So this is 36250. So our last entry becomes 36250. So you can solve the similar kinds of sums. Thank you so much.